Hey guys, this video is uh, trying to figure out my wind noise in my 2005 GMC Sierra 2500 HD Duramax. Um, I actually had a really bad um, whistling noise coming from my power steering pump. Um, like, I would come to a stop, you know, be sitting in traffic, and you would just hear the, uh, the steering column making this whoosh, 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 like whistling noise. And, uh, you know, I've had this truck for about three years, and I just kind of ignored it, so... Um, I recently replaced my power steering pump, and that noise went away. So it's like, now I'm noticing all of the other noises, uh, you know, on top of the diesel just make this truck uh, insanely loud. Um, let me get over these railroad tracks. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I'm now just trying to fix up all the rest of the... Uh, uh, wind noises and uh, just taking you guys along for a ride and uh, see if you guys can hear what I'm hearing. Um, I've done some research so I think I know what the problem is. Uh, one is the door seal right here on the A-pillar. Um, it's not, you can kind of hear it whistling. I'm only doing 45. Uh, I'm going to get on the uh, interstate here in a bit and I'll let you hear the howling noise that this truck is making. Okay guys, I'm getting on the uh, interstate well, state highway here. It's a four-lane split highway. Um, and I'm at 60. And you can already hear the wind noise coming in. Right about this A-pillar. Um, I just kind of want to demonstrate how bad it gets. You know, I, I'll be honest. I'm kind of lazy, so I've just been turning the radio up for the last couple of years. But, you know, now that I've uh, isolated, you know, I've fixed that uh, whistling power steering uh, coming through the cab. Um, I kind of want to get the rest of this uh, um, wind noise issues, try to, try to reduce it at least. Um, I ended up uh, taking this truck on a eight hour ride up to uh, Ohio to see some family and uh, man that, that sucked. Uh, just the noise just would not go away. Um, and I had passengers with me so I couldn't you know just crank up the radio and ignore it like mostly so uh, anyway, so try it at like 75 and see what you guys hear. Actually, let me turn the air conditioning off. That might. Yeah, you can definitely hear that coming around the A pillar. Let me uh, slow back down. But yeah, um, so I, I've been reading a lot on the uh, different truck forums, and uh, not really one simple fix on this thing. Um, there, I've just seen like multiple people with different issues, and uh, I think it's a combination of a saggy uh, door pin on uh, this, this driver's door as well as the um, I have a front uh, bug guard I don't know if you can see that way up there but uh, I've read online you know that the GMC's with aftermarket bug guards um, like redirect the air right towards the A pillar and that's just kind of what causes the uh, um, issue it helps contribute to the issue and also I just found out my rear uh, driver's side extended cab door, I pushed it, um, pushed in on it from the inside and uh, it's popping loose. So I also saw that was kind of an issue. So I think it's a combination of the door pin, the bug guard, and the uh, that rear uh, extended cab um, window. So what I've done is I've already ordered the, uh, there's they actually sell replacement clips for the back, that back window and uh, it's supposed to tighten the seal up by like an extra 0.5 of a millimeter or whatever um, basically it's just an aftermarket piece that's supposed to be better than stock and help tighten up that window so here I'm testing the rear extended cab uh, on the passenger side door I'm grabbing the top and the bottom and here I'm testing the passenger side door just pulling up on the bottom to see if the 
pins are uh, having any issue. And here on the driver's side, I'm going to do the same test. Um, you can see the door, you can hear it lift up. Yeah, that knocking is the pins that are loose. Here's testing the extended cab, extended cab on the driver's side. It didn't really have any issues with this. And uh, this is where I start pressing on the window. Whoa. So my driver's side rear window on the extended cab actually pushed out. Uh, and this is where that clip right there, uh, the, the, this clip I've already placed an order for to pull it in tighter. And I did the same test on the passenger side, and uh, the passenger side seemed fine. Here's a picture of the aftermarket clip. The stock one's on the bottom, the aftermarket one's on top, which is a little longer. So I installed the uh, clips that hold in the rear extended cab windows. Um, going on the uh, interstate right now and uh, see if it's helped reduce the noise. Uh, I'm still hearing some wind noise at about 45 miles an hour. Um, let's get it up to highway speeds here and uh, see if it's helped uh, reduce the overall noise at all. Here's 75, yeah, it's still audible, right in this heat pillar. I think it's a little bit quieter than it was in the past. Um, let's go a little bit faster. Yeah, you can still definitely hear it come from the heat pillar. Um, but yeah, I, I would say it's reduced it a little bit. Um, I mean, for... 30 bucks on eBay, I'll, uh, you know, it wasn't too bad of a mod to help reduce some of the noise. I've installed the aftermarket door pins in these pictures, and uh, the install went fairly well. Um, you know, you just had to cut the one off and install the other three, like I mentioned, and uh, they are good to go. Alright guys, I've uh, finished putting the door pins on the truck, um, and I also removed the front bug guard, and, uh, it is way quieter in here. There's still a little bit of wind noise, but I think it's just uh, partially the way the wind is blowing, as well as just the design of the truck. Um, but if you could have been in this car, you know, before I started any of these uh, fixes, um, it was way, way, way louder. So, yeah, there's a little bit of noise, like I said, but it's not that bad, so. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the pins, the clips, and removing the bug guard uh, will give you an idea on how to fix your uh, leaky uh, window noise, the real bad wind noise. Thanks.